Gentlemen, this is my intelligence. I'm Beardy, and this is Larry. Today, we're going to show you how to psychologically make a girl chase you. Psychologically? That's a big word. Oh, hi guys, I'm Kay. Oh yes, Kay. Mind power. The mind holds the most complex mysteries of the human race, and so I think this is a public service we're doing right here. Oh wow, isn't that a bit over the top? Well, I was just trying to explain why it's important to know these five proven and scientific tricks to get girls to chase you. These tips are already tested by psychologists and have been proven to be effective. But hey, I thought we already have a video about the 10 powerful tricks to get girls to chase you. Um, yes, we do have that in our channel already, but this time we had a little bit of help from psychology. So this is going to be different and a bit more fun. Plus, at the end of this video, we're going to show you the one thing not to do, as it rather chases girls away. Away, away, away. Now let's get to it. Number five, all about standing out. Hey guys, I want to start this one with a question. Among these, who do you think stands out? That's right, it's Larry who stands out the most. Why? Because he's a monkey. Oh, that makes so much sense. But wait, why again? According to research, this is called the Von Restorff effect. This states that when multiple objects are present, the one that differs most is most likely to be remembered. And I think you know what that means, don't you? Do your very best to stand out. The best way to do this is to know how to make jokes. If you're able to make her laugh, you're already a million steps ahead of the rest. And if she laughs at even the corniest of your jokes, well, that's one of the most obvious hidden signs a girl likes you. Unfortunately, being funny isn't one of the easiest skills to learn. However, there are other ways to stand out. By simply standing straight, wearing pressed clothes and smelling nice, you can stand out pretty easily. Just be sure to work on your comedic timing a little bit as well. Want to know if she likes you or not? Find out more hidden signs a girl likes you in this video we made just for that purpose. Number 4. Familiar Flair Back in college, I had this roommate who's the biggest foodie I know, and it isn't surprising because his mom was one hell of a cook. During one of his birthdays, he invited me to come over to their house, and oh, I still remember every dish I ever ate that day because it was so dang good. I remember thinking, he's so lucky he grew up eating such delicious food. Years later, I found out that Greg married one of the best chefs in town. See, it's possible that Greg was inclined to be attracted to women who are good cooks because he was so familiar with the presence of one, his mother. This is called the familiarity effect, studied by psychologist Robert Zajonk. Now listen closely, because this is how you make a girl crazy for you. His studies show that people tend to develop a preference of persons or things that are familiar to them. Ooh, I didn't know that. So, how does that work for the guys, eh? Always be around, be someone familiar. It's as simple as that. By putting yourself around her all the time, you'll increase the likelihood that she'll be attracted to you. Want to know how to make a girl chase you? Check out this video with 915,000 views already. Number three, favor flavor. Kay, can you give me a pen? Here. Uh, how about some paper? Here. Okay. Ugh, what now, Beardy? Like, sorry, don't get mad. I was just testing the Benjamin Franklin effect. The Benjamin effect states that you're more likely to like a person for whom you do favors for. Now pay attention because this is one of the tricks to get a girl to chase you. Wait, what? Don't we just do stuff for a person we know we like? Hmm, in a perfect world, K, okay, yes. But have you ever thought that you're doing favors for someone you don't like as well? Hmm, are you forgetting about your boss? Ugh. Beardy, you got me there. Well, kidding aside, this effect became known as such because in Benjamin Franklin's autobiography, he wrote that someone who once hated him became his friend because he asked a favor from him. Ben borrowed a book from this someone. And after a few days, he returned the book and thanked him. When they saw each other at the White House, this person began talking to him very civilly, which he'd never done before. And they became good friends after that. Oh, so it worked like a charm. Oh, yes, it did. Which is why this can be one of the tricks to make a girl fall in love with you guys. See, when you ask someone for a favor, it's like saying, hey, I need your help. This makes it flattering for the person who will do the favor, and this boosts their self-worth. Also, when we do stuff for people, our brain thinks we must like that person. So guys, Guys, the next time you see your girl, ask her for a favor. This is one of the weird tricks to get a girl to chase you, so see if it will work for you. But be aware of overdoing this. You don't want to seem like you're bossy and like you're asking other people to do stuff for you all the time. This is clearly not doing you any good if you want to learn how to make a girl want you. Did you see what happened with Kay earlier? Yeah, she got a bit annoyed, but I kept asking her for favor after favor after favor, so use this trick sparingly. You want to know more tricks on how to get a girl to fall in love with you? We have another video discussing just that. Check it out.
Hey guys, thanks for staying with us. Hang tight because we have two more psychologically backed tricks to help you learn how to make a girl chase you. Plus, towards the end of this video, we'll show you the one thing you should not do because it quite simply chases girls away. Now, back to the good stuff. Number two, stellar similars. Guys, have you heard of the cliche, opposites attract? Well, yeah, in magnets maybe, but in a relationship, hmm, that's another story. I'm not saying that people who are opposites don't have a chance at a relationship. What I'm saying is the probability of that happening is really low compared to when two people are actually similar to each other. If you don't believe me, think of this. Why do you almost always think of questions to ask a girl to see if the two of you are compatible? This is because of homophily, which is defined as love of the same, and is explained as a person's tendency to link up with someone who can Firms rather than tests his core beliefs. Oh, come on, Beardy. Was I that boring? Hey, I'm sorry, but you lost me when you started defining stuff. So explain again how this is going to help me learn how to attract a girl. While dating someone different from you could be quite exciting and challenging, let's be realistic here. In order to get girls to chase you, you should at least share something in common. And it doesn't have to be great big things. Do you like the same cake? Do you like your coffee black? Did you go to the same school? If you answered yes, then that's a start. Such small similarities will induce feelings of warmth and fun, which will eventually lead to attraction. Well, at least according to the concept of homophily. Just think of it like this, guys. She's more likely to hang out with you when she finds out that you also love watching Star Wars. So go, my Padawan. May the Force be with you. Short on questions you can ask your girl to see how similar you are? Check out this video for more conversation starters. Number one, pretty plenty. All right, guys, I think for this one, we might need the help of good old Professor Beardsley. Hey, I heard my name. Yes, I think you'll be able to help us explain the abundance mindset. Oh, the abundance mentality is the thinking that there's plenty for everybody or that everything in this world is abundant. This mindset's been explained by Stephen Covey in his most popular book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Okay, thanks, Professor. So, guys, you may be wondering what this has to do with dating and how to get a girl to like you. Well, it's simple. If you have an abundance mindset, Set, you don't think you have to compete with anyone other than yourself. Imagine this, Greg's in his late 20s and he currently doesn't have a girlfriend. Now, since Greg doesn't have the abundance mindset, he thinks that he's running out of time. He chases every girl he meets and tends to rush potential relationships. Now, do you think he'll land a girlfriend anytime soon? I don't think so. In essence, people with the abundance mindset focus more on what they have instead of focusing on what they don't have. And in doing this, they're able to go through life with a more positive outlook and less anxiety about what they might be missing out on. Basically, they see the light in everything not just the light at the end of the tunnel. Want to know more tricks on how to get a girl to chase you? We have a separate video for that. Check it out. Oh, wow. Now it's time for our bonus, which means it's time for us to tell you the one thing that you should never do because it chases girls away rather than attracting them. Ready? Don't try too hard. This is because according to experts, trying too hard is pointless and it can actually backfire. They call this the white bear problem. Try this simple experiment. Try not to think of a white bear. Try very hard. Let me guess what happened to you. You thought of a white bear, right? That's it. See, by trying too hard to do something, the opposite actually happened. For example, don't wear her dad's cologne while testing out the familiarity effect from our fourth item. That's just creepy. Something like that will make her want to avoid you instead of chase you. So don't try so hard. Know when to stop, and she'll eventually chase you. If she doesn't, then maybe it's time to move on. Do you know any more psychologically backed tricks on how to get a girl to chase you? Let us know in the comments below. Did you know that we have more tricks up our sleeves to make her chase you? Check out this video we published, which has over 2 million views. It talks of the 10 powerful tricks that are just as good and equally as effective as the ones we have in this video. This is Intelligence. Thanks for watching.